Hello everyone. Today we are going to do a video on building a linear regression model in Spark and Scala. So what is linear regression? Linear regression is one of the most common machine learning techniques where given a set of input features we try to predict the output variable. The output variable being a continuous one. The loss function is generally for the least square type of linear regression or least, linear least square is the most common formulation for regression problems and for the uh, linear least squares this is basically the squared error or the squared difference between the predicted and actual output. In this video we'll be taking the bike sharing data set. Uh, currently the bike sharing data set is not opening the original uh, website is not opening right now so okay it's performing a TLS and shake let's see if it actually opens okay within the meantime let's just take a look at the Kaggle site for the same data set so the data fields are uh, season holiday working day weather temperature humidity wind speed casual registered count and so on so we are right it's not opening so let's just take a look at the data set so you can see that these are the fields date season year month our holiday weekday working day and so on right so i have this here and right so you can see that all the information is here so let's get into our code we start our spark shell right so import r dot apache dot spark dot ml dot regression dot linear regression and so from evaluation for the regression evaluator and from feature vector assembler I'll import my vector assembler then we load the data so text file data well, let me see if I can get it from here right right so raw data dot first it will show me the it is basically a string reading the first line so I can get this here right so my records will be raw data filter where line is not the headers so records dot first gives me the string now this is basically a single line of the raw string uh, we will need to we will now parse the records or we'll need to figure out a way how to parse the records so let's say that rex is this and so fields is i will split it based on my comma which is the delimiter and then I will see 
what my field size is it's 17 um, now my interesting thing is uh, that I don't want uh, all the 17 so there are like 17 here I don't want all of them I want only the starting the season which is basically like the so which is basically from here uh, uh, so for this we will start the case class now to get the case class I'd already so I could have probably done this class like render right uh, let's see this uh, comma will be set will be given by this and then basically you see Oops. Right. Like this. Yes. 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 Right. The only thing is that now this I want it to be double because this is my output variable and so um, i don't want it to i want it uh, it's although technically it's an integer i want it to be a double also i am not interested in the casual and registered number of bikes right and I am also only interested starting season right so this seems okay I'll just take from here and put it here Good. now I have my case class so I can take my pass string or create my pass string function which is basically takes each record as string and the output is my bike rental and fields sorry I don't yes I need this and then I need to assert that fields size is 17 and then okay And then my so my bike rental was like this. Uh, I needed to have the from the fields. So uh, also my bike rental this one is probably wrong because okay um, these are wrong so let me just create it again mm. so 
till season holiday working day and weather are okay but the others one are uh, basically float so and double c okay this guy this guy and this guy are basically double so what i will do is this is plus so now I want to see if my piece is this. So rental fields. This needs to be three, this needs to be four, this needs to be five, this needs to be six, this needs to be seven, this needs to be eight. This is still here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this needs to be nine. Okay. Ten to twelve, right? Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Interestingly, we had deleted the two in the middle, so fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, right? So ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, sixteen, right? Correct. So I now need to join this. Right. So right. That should give me this. This. Let's see if it works. Yeah, it works. So now comes the time to start my define my parse string which is basically will take the records as a string and will give bike rental as the output and it's basically parses the records and then asserts that the Field size is seven, and then basically spits out this. Right. So once I have this, I can create my data, which is just the records uh, mapping to our string, and then conveniently I'll convert it into a data frame right so let's look how my data looks like ah great so now we can take the help of vector assembler to create the feature column so feature columns is an array of ah so all these guys right so I can take what I'll do is all the words that I get with a comma I will oops convert them to a 
this guy. Let's see. Let's see if it works. Ah, great. Okay, this did not. Last one did not work, but I can just convert it to like this. So I take this. There is a problem here though. I don't need the casual and the registered again. I don't need the instant and the date day as well. I'll just remove it probably from here. And from here as well. Right. So it will come to size is 13. And if I look at the data dot columns size, it's also 13. So it basically matches. So my assembler is a new vector assembler with the uh, input columns as the feature columns and my output column is I will define it as features. I need to define it as features so that the algorithm uh, or the Spark algorithms can understand this so my data frame is the assembler is the transform to data so let's see how it looks right i have my features column so we also need to rename the label so I can now this is basically with column rename what is it my output which is the count to the label so I need to convert it so You can see that it has been converted to label so now that uh, we have the final data frame we need to split the data frame so that we have the test is basically split of 80-20% right now that we have the data frame as we want it to be we create the model so my linear regression is basically new linear regression with let's just for uh, knowledge reasons so we'll just set it very low values this should not actually give us any actual output but let's see elastic parameter is 0.8 so I will need to fit the model which is right now that we have the model we can do some model evaluation so coefficients oops I fitted the model but I did not save it in a uh, model is right right so dot 
these are my coefficients almost all of them are zero without the last one which means that the last one has the most effect on the final data and my intercept is this taking a look at some matrices so So let's say training summary right so training summary history is this and the residuals and these are all the residuals and this is my r squared error now we can get the root mean square over test data so predictions is transform so predictions so these are my predictions with my prediction if you can see it's 17 and it's almost like it's almost the same Right. You to create a regression evaluator with metric mean means and label column is the label. Okay, I've lost it. So, new regression evaluator needs metric mean as and label column is label and mm, prediction column is prediction so my root mean square error is the predictions so my root mean square error is 0 0.245 this is the basic linear regression other, apart from this the other linear regression models are generalized linear regression uh, decision tree random forest gradient boosted tree regression survival regression isotonic regression and so on so you can use ensembles as well if you're that's the end of the video if you are interested uh, in nlp please uh, check out my latest book on fast text uh, i'll share the description in the links uh, fast text is basically an open source lightweight library that allows users to learn text representations and text classifiers uh, thanks for watching this video uh, i'll if Please subscribe to the channel and I will continue putting out more machine learning content. Have a great day.